Hello, it's Gina here from Blackfish Arts Tasmania. I'm just going to do a very quick one on um, my evening slow stitching. Just the ones most recently. Ah, okay, again. <laughs> Hello, it's Gina here from Blackfish Arts Tasmania. Uh, just a quick one on something I was working on last night. Um, so I'm in the studio all day, painting, collage, some computer work and whatnot, but in the evenings I do slow stitching. And last night I was just finishing off um, a couple of ideas of um, needle books. So I, instead of all my needles being in the bottom of the tray, as I'm sure <coughs> we've all been there, I wanted to sort them out in a certain way. So I was reading about needle books and I had all these different beautiful woolen blankets from Vinnie's that I picked up over the years and um, I thought they'd make good material for um, keeping your needles in. Nice and soft um, and thick. So what I did was I started with strip like this um, and this particular one folds up differently to that one. Uh, so a strip and I cut two strips so you can see there are two strips there and then I stitch them together. I've um, stitched them with rows of running stitch as you can see there if you can see so rows of stuck a running stitch and I've um, worked on the edges on two sides in blanket stitch and then you can put your needles in su such um, I've got the thicker bigger needles with the bigger eyes uh, on this one and the finer needles in that one and the whole idea here I then um, also stitched on some rag string that I had made so from two pieces of cloth that you tear into strips and then you wind into making string. Uh, then I shall roll this one up with the needles on the inside and the needles because it's two layers of um, blanket here the needles don't go through to the outside they just sit between I've got them sitting between the two layers. So I'm rolling up now into a scroll type and the string that I've added stitched on, the string that I've stitched on there rolls around so I can tie it up. And I've got my needle, my needle case can pop that in the bag with me, take it with me. It's in my basket up in the lounge room where I stitch in the evening. So I just unroll it when I'm ready to find a needle or two. So this one is also a needle book and I took strips like this and chopped them into this size. Single sheets, this size. You can see the different blankets that I have different blankets um, and then each is treated like a page and I have stitched it Japanese style all the way through so they're single sheets and Japanese binding you stitch it all the way through so I've got pages for the needle book and that's where I store my finer needles in Okay, so I'm really pleased with those two. I don't often do things, practical things. I usually do wall hangings and paintings and such. Um, but I'm really pleased with these. Okay, thanks for joining me. We'll see you next time. Bye.